Hi all, welcome to this course on production planning and control. Today we'll be learning about the measurement of capacity. So, uh, as we know that the capacity planning is to be carried out, keeping in mind the future growth and expansion plans, market trends, sales forecasting, etc. It is a simple task to plan the capacity in case of stable demand, but in practice, the demand will be seldom stable or based upon the demand when we need to challenge for our products or when we need to forecast how to produce or what is the quantity of products which we need to deliver to the customers it becomes a very difficult plan or it becomes very difficult for us to plan that one hence how do we measure that or what are the measurements of this capacity is what we will be learning so in order to measure that or for the measurement of that we need sufficient capacity which is required to meet the customer demands in time. Sufficient capacity is required to meet the customer's demand in time. Capacity which affects the cost efficiency of operations. Capacity affects the scheduling system. Capacity creation requires an investment. So for all of these, capacity is an important task. Hence, capacity planning is the first method when an organization decides to produce more or new products of that quality hence the measurement of this capacity planning or measurement of this capacity is generally dependent based upon these factors like the design capacity the system capacity the licensed capacity the installed capacity and the rated capacity like for example if we are having a long-term goal or a long-term plan of establishment of a thermal power plant so whenever we establish this thermal power plant then we'll be going for the design capacity the system capacity, the licensed capacity, finally the installed capacity and the rated capacity. And based upon that, before starting that thermal power plant, we will be planning how to operate it with a particular installations, with a particular rated capacity, with a particular system capacity and the licensed capacity which is present. Hence, based upon the design system, the actual output is generally being produced with the capacity planning. And hence, if the capacity planning is properly being done, then the measurement or the output of the products are also being properly done. So, for that output, we have to properly do these measurements of design capacity, system capacity, license capacity, installed capacity, and the rated by which the final product or the end product meets the demands of the customers. Thank you.